Great news everyone, it's come to my attention that celebrity activist and theoretical actor Brie Larson has launched her own YouTube channel, permitting us a fascinating insight into the mind, life and personality of one of the most popular and relatable actors in Hollywood. Now let's take a quick look and see what we can expect. Hi, I'm Brie Larson, oh god. A solid start, keep it up. I'm starting a YouTube channel. Why am I starting a YouTube channel? That's a good question, Brie. I mean, it's not like you're some kind of shallow, narcissistic Hollywood celebrity constantly chasing fame and attention and who can't get much of either right now because of an unspecified virus of unknown origin. So you've decided to turn to YouTube in a desperate attempt to stay relevant while simultaneously trying to overcome the growing public perception that you're arrogant, aloof, prickly, self-absorbed, boring, unintelligent, unrelatable, and generally unlikable. No way, that kind of thing would be crazy. I mean, look at how your Marvel co-stars enjoy being around you. Just look at it with responsibility. I mean, I'm, I am committed to self-improvement and I... And to be honest, I don't blame you for not knowing why you're here. Personally, I often launch new channels to a massive coordinated publicity campaign, an instant spot on YouTube's trending list, hundreds of thousands of instant subscribers, full monetization and verification, and nearly a million views on my first video without knowing why I'm doing it or what I hope to achieve. It's just how these things are done, I guess. Not a great plan. So what kind of content can we expect from this exciting new channel? Deep conversations. I literally cannot imagine what a deep conversation with Brie Larson might entail. Anti-racist rhetoric. But I really don't think the word rhetoric is what you're looking for. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Language designed to have a persuasive or impressive effect, but which is often regarded as lacking in sincerity or meaningful content. Uh Inclusive content. Inclusive content, eh? Isn't that kind of the point of YouTube? Like, anyone can upload or watch anything they choose at any time, so that content which appeals to a wide range of people naturally rises to prominence? Unless YouTube were to artificially manipulate their trending lists to prop up a privileged celebrity that decided she wanted to become an overnight content creator instead of actually putting in the work needed to build up her credibility, respect and audience, of course. But that would be just crazy. Anyway, here's a good way to make your channel more popular. If you don't have the insight, intelligence, vocabulary, creativity or charisma to carry a channel yourself, you can always bring in a bunch of famous, successful and extremely safe content creators who can generate interest, flatter your ego and not say anything remotely challenging or controversial. Hi! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> yes! Hey, I miss you! Hey, what's up? Check, check, hello. <laughs> ah, there we go. And I'm starting a YouTube channel. Mmm, 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 mmm. <laughs> that reaction says it all, mate. <laughs> Someone should have warned me about this so that I would be more professional in this moment. That's right. If only you'd had time to tidy away all the crap in your living room, vacuum the floors, and have your hair and makeup looking absolutely flawless in time for this interview. I can't believe how spontaneous and relatable this entire segment feels. It's just like two friends having a chat. You know, they say that our workspaces are a reflection of our personalities. Whether it be cluttered, creative and chaotic, organized and meticulous, or... yeah... Do you have content ideas? Now call me crazy and old-fashioned, but shouldn't you come up with an idea for your channel before you launch it? Isn't that kind of the point? I auditioned for the Terminator reboot. <laughs> One can only imagine how awesome Dark Fate might have been with Brie Larson in the main role. I love talking to people, I love learning, I love food, I love video games. Oh my god, me too. Who would have thought that two people from different parts of the 
world could have such quirky, specific interests in common. Now let's talk a bit more about video games, because if there's one thing YouTube lacks right now, it's people with a deep knowledge and interest in video games. Me too, what do you play? Uh oh, she just asked a specific question and the clock's ticking. Quick breathe, think of a game, any game. Just name a video game that's popular right now. Mostly Nintendo. Nailed it. So you're talking about Fortnite? Absolutely, I'm talking about Fortnite. You play Fortnite? Yes. I'm willing to bet my life savings that Brie Larson absolutely does not play Fortnite. Because I think that it's just, it's about being myself. Uh... YouTube is a place for 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 counterculture for people that feel different it is indeed but i suspect it's not the kind of culture you're going to find appealing once you venture outside your hollywood bubble and you're no longer surrounded by like-minded people that basically agree with everything you say because they're too afraid to voice their actual opinions and i guess that sentiment lies at the heart of this video see youtube is kind of a one-way street when it comes to fame yeah it's created its fair share of celebrities some good, others, uh... But the point is, it's kind of an open market for content creators to start at the ground level and build themselves up over time. It's a place where the average Joe can start a channel talking about something they love, and with a bit of hard work, luck, and perseverance, perhaps find themselves an audience. And there's something good and inspiring about that. It's not really a place for out-of-touch movie stars to muscle their way into, with heavily produced videos masquerading as homely and down-to-earth, padded out with guest appearances by famous content creators that they've almost certainly never met or interacted with before. It all just comes across as kind of fake and disingenuous, like you've spotted one of the few remaining areas where regular people can make themselves heard, and you've decided you have to dominate that too. Remember when all those celebrities got together on their iPhones to sing Imagine, and they thought it was going to be the best thing ever, but then everyone mocked and belittled them because it made them seem even more clueless and out of touch? Well, take a look at the ratio on your first video. It ain't gonna get any better from here, trust me. You're already a movie star, and you've already got lots of opportunities to make your voice heard. I guess what I'm saying here is you should probably stick to that and leave YouTube to actual YouTubers. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Go away now.